All right then folks, we're back in the polytunnel and today we're going to be planting some sweet corn seedlings. Carmel, you probably thought we were going to be growing grass or something today. Well, the look at them. It's because they grow, they grow so quickly. Don't they? And sweet. What date was it? Okay, so, yeah, well, you can see there. On the 18th of April. 18th of April. And it's, it's early May now. So these have been uh, growing for about three weeks now. It started off quite cold. We did have them in the propagator, but the last few days have been really warm. And literally, you can nearly because see are. these growing. Yeah, yeah. So you really only get a few weeks. Exactly, yeah. They grow so fast that if you do have them in modules like that, you really have to keep an eye on them because you don't want them to get root bound there, as in that the roots get too cramped in the pots. So it's about time for us to plant out. Um, now, <laughs> we're planting in the polytunnel. So we're planting early May in the polytunnel. But if you are growing outside, sweet corn do need warmth. They're not going to be able to handle frost or harsh weather. So if you're growing outside, really middle of May, even towards the beginning of June uh, is a better time to plant out. Um, but for me in the northwest here, I have quite a cool garden. So uh, sweet corn is all right outside in a good year, it'll do well, but in a bad year it won't, but I get really re re reliable <laughs> results in the polytunnel. And we've plenty of room in here, so we're just gonna get going. So hopefully then we're gonna be able to show you some lovely golden cobs, but if we don't plant them, we're not gonna see them. So let's get going. So uh, we're gonna grow sweet corn in a block rather than in a single row. Okay. Um why are we going in a block? Uh, well, it's, a, it's about pollination. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, you'll see later in the season that when our plants are six foot tall, uh, they're going to start um, producing these male flowers which rain pollen down on the female flowers. And if we have a block of sweet corn, uh, then, then we have a lot of pollen falling down from the other plants. So in that kind of tight area, uh, we have more intensive pollination. Oh, Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, so we're going to be spacing them. I just put some stones out here just so you can see. We're going to be spacing them at 30 centimeters between plants. Okay. Um, so pretty simple. And I'll just show you then one of the seedlings. So we can see there, like literally that seedling a couple of days ago was only about that size, how fast it's growing. And the, that root there is about perfect. Okay. okay, we just don't really want getting any more cramped than that. So let's stick one in. We should mention this is a six by six bed, six foot by six foot bed. Yes, this is a six foot by six yeah. foot bed. I was going to fill the whole bed, but Carmel sensibly said, hey, why don't we just do a block in the middle and then we can use the outside then for maybe some salads or maybe we'll even put some flowering plants in here to make the place look uh, a little better. So we're going to do that. So again, we're just pushing the seedling out uh, about 30 centimeters width and we're just popping it in and just pushing in around it. Now, what you can do is just put the soil about two, three centimeters, maybe above what the soil was on the compost plug and push it down like that and that's it. So I'll just go and put do the rest of them quickly. Okay, so now that they're planted, as with everything, we want to give them a really good drink just to settle them in. And then I'm going to be giving them a good soaking um, every two days, really, um, until I see them starting to establish and we start to see the plants take off, which in the warm tunnel they will. As I said, same as the seedlings, you'll nearly see them growing. So that's it. We will be back probably in a couple of months or something uh, and we can talk about pollination and all those exciting things uh, and then finally harvesting some sweet corn. So we'll see you then. Mm -hmm.